Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Gym. This is a TV review and I'll be having a look at the opening episode of season four of Being Human. Being Human, the US version or Canadian version, depending on how you look at it. So uh, if you haven't sort of seen this kind of show before, this is going to be a really difficult season to kind of start up on, I have to say, because uh, the, the, it kind of left with quite a big triple cliffhanger in the last season and it really doesn't do much to kind of try and get new viewers into this. So if you haven't seen this show before, I really sort of suggest, first of all, you start from the beginning. And even, you know, I've seen every season up to this point and I had to kind of like, I think, oh God, you know, try and sort of piece pack it together because it actually starts, you know, a few months after the end of the last season. So you kind of, it takes a little while to kind of acclimatise and kind of realise what's happening. And there may be spoilers in this review. So essentially, as I say, it takes place a number of a number of months after the end of last season. Now, in regards to the sort of cliffhangers, basically we saw um, Sally, who is the ghost, kind of get sucked into a kind of portal by Donna, who is this kind of witch who she had a bit of a rivalry with in the previous season. The werewolf couple, uh, so Josh and, and, his, and his new wife, um, that they basically were kind of like, you know, not long they had, had they been married and at the end of the season kind of Joss had st was still remaining in his werewolf form whilst Nora was in her kind of human form and it looked like, you know, it was going to attack, or Joss was going to attack Nora. And we also see Aiden, who is the vampire, his dead wife uh, got, got out of a taxi who we've seen kind of in flashbacks, who was actually played by Catherine Isabel, who you may know from Ginger Snaps, I believe it was. So, you know, I think it's pretty obvious last season that she was probably going to have a bigger part to play because she is, you know, a more well-known-ish actress. So, so it takes place, you know, a few months after that. And uh, it turns out that the, the most interesting story here, to me at least, was the werewolf story. And it seems kind of Josh has kind of almost got like a reverse werewolf. So he's pretty much a werewolf um, all, the, all month, but with one exception on a full moon, he turns back into a human. And, of course, the... The kind of, and they even mentioned Lady Hawk, which I thought was a brilliant reference. Um, when he's obviously human, Nora actually then turns into a So they only have a very short window where they're actually both human for around sort of 30 minutes each way in the morning and the evening. So uh, that was really interesting. I thought that, that was by far the most interesting story and the most compelling. Uh, so it's kind of really dealing with that sort of situation. I hope it's not one that they kind of drag out for too long, however. But it was certainly the most interesting out of the kind of the three sort of character stories. We don't know why that's happened. Nothing's really explained. And I'm guessing, obviously, as the series goes on, we'll sort of find out. So Sally's story, I have to say, was a little bit confusing. Uh, she's basically, it turns out that she's kind of made, uh, between her and Donnelly, she's kind of made almost like this uh, kind of holding cell, ultimately, where she's in a kind of spa, really, just to sort of try and uh, keep them. So because they're between the two of them, they've been kind of ripping the fabric of reality apart. And they've kind of now almost sort of trapped in this kind of alternate dimension type thing. But sort of Sally manages to escape and kind of reacclimatizes back into the into the, uh, sort of the real world, I suppose. But she's kind of brought some other sort of powers with her, it seems. I have to say, I thought her story was a little bit vague. I, 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 I don't know, it kind of almost, uh, it, it made kind of the end of last season seem a bit crap, I have to say, in regards to her specific storyline. I, did, I didn't like the way that was kind of it that went. Um, maybe that will get better with future sort of future viewings of pre you know, following episodes. But I have to say, it stands on. I wasn't so keen on, on the kind of that, and it's a bit vague and confusing. Uh, in regards to Aiden's storylines, so he's kind of got in this relationship with this kind of human girl who who is expressing her love to him in this in this kind of particular episode. And I have to say, I, I really did like their chemistry in the kind of the previous season. I thought they kind of made a good a good couple. And the you know, his storyline really revolves around, well, he's got kind of two storylines, I suppose. He's kind of got this, uh, his wife sort of turns up, or we assume it's his wife. And if you kind of watch the flashback, it that pretty much confirms it. And uh, we don't know quite what's happened. Uh, I'm assuming she's some kind of vampire now, but we don't know for sure. I find it a little bit sort of convenient that she's kind of shown up now. But again, we'll have to see, obviously, whether that, that is, is of anything particular reason for that as the sort of season goes on he also has a kind of secondary storyline which is if you refer again to the last season he sort of side this sort of young lab he kind of mutated into this sort of like sort of quasi hunchback type vampire and he's back but he's kind of looks normal again now and he's got this kind of other sort of female flunky called blake who was again in the previous season who was kind of a rival for aiden so it's all pretty much set up 
for the rest of the season. Uh, but I have to say, you know, like, it was a bit of a mixed bag. I kind of, I, I was kind of, uh, I really liked the van, the uh, sorry, the werewolf storyline. I was kind of indifferent about the vampire one and not so keen on Sally's one. So, you know, I have to say that this, you know, potentially this could be a great season. It was, you know, there's a lot of sort of questions that kind of need answering. I hope they don't drag it out for too long because I think sometimes the shows can be a little bit guilty of that. But nevertheless, it's very, you know, it's particularly interesting. I think I just hope they kind of manage to sort of get the, the kind of the balance right ultimately. I am quite intrigued to find out what's happening with Aiden's wife. I do like the actress, and I thought that the flashback scenes from the kind of the previous season were very good, and they had sort of some good chemistry. So I am quite intrigued with that. Uh, I didn't think maybe it kind of it didn't it wasn't exciting as it could be. I think Sally's one just needs to kind of be a little bit more clear about what's going on. Maybe kind of drop that whole Donna storyline because I don't particularly like it. Do you like it anyway? So leave me a comment. I'm going to give this episode a six point five out of ten. I actually quite enjoyed it. Although I don't think it was the strongest opener. What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.